KBLP LLC. Check us out on iHeart, Speaker, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. With the best podcasters in the business, Denise Harris, Chris Stevens, Michelle Auger, Ike Diaz, Desiree Pickett, Anissa Nicole, Cecilia Flores, Lolita Diaz. Sponsored by TBS303.com. We are also looking for new podcasters. Inbox any of our podcasters or me ideas directly on Facebook and someone will get back with you ASAP. KBLP LLC. Check us out on iHeart, Speaker, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. With the best podcasters in the business, Denise Harris, Chris Stevens, Michelle Auger, Ike Diaz, Desiree Pickett, Anissa Nicole, Cecilia Flores, Lolita Diaz. Sponsored by TBS303.com. We are also looking for new podcasters. Inbox any of our podcasters or me ideas directly on Facebook and someone will get back with you ASAP.
KBLP LLC. Check us out on iHeart, Speaker, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. With the best podcasters in the business Denise Harris, Chris Stevens, Michelle Auger, Ike Diaz, Desiree Pickett, Anissa Nicole, Cecilia Flores, Lolita Diaz. Sponsored by TB303.com. We are also looking for new podcasters. Inbox any of our podcasters or me ideas directly on Facebook and someone will get back with you ASAP. KBLP LLC. Check us out on iHeart, Speaker, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. With the best podcasters in the business. Denise Harris, Chris Stevens, Michelle Auger, Ike Diaz, Desiree Pickett, Anissa Nicole, Cecilia Flores, Lolita Diaz. Sponsored by TB303.com. We are also looking for new podcasters. Inbox any of our podcasters or me ideas directly on Facebook and someone will get back with you ASAP. Sunlight hurts my eyes And something without warning love Bears heavy on my mind Then I look at you And the world's all right with me Just one look at you And 
and I know it's gonna be a lovely day. Impossible to fail when someone else instead of me always seems to know the way. Then I look at you, and the world's all right with me. Just one look at you, and I know it's gone.
Welcome to Flashback Favorites. I'm Music Mike. Thanks for joining me again. Here's a tune originally performed in 1967 by The Intruders, a fantastic Gamble and Huff composition. In 1980, early 81, the group Tierra from Los Angeles redid this song, and it made it to number 18 on the Billboard Hot 100 that year. Here is Together from Tierra on Flashback Favorites.
You're live with no ideas on the jam every Saturday night. You can check me out. Today's a Sunday morning special edition. We have a special guest, Vlad Brad, who's going to be coming on to do a podcast with us at KBLP LLC. What's going on, Vlad Brad? Hey, what's up, bro? Good. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Finally. <laughs> I know. Finally. It, it took a minute to get you on the air, huh? <laughs> Yeah, dude, it, it took a minute, but uh, we made it happen, and here we are in full effect. This is this is wicked. This is pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Yeah, it's cool, dude. I'm excited, man. It's gonna be a fun time. Uh, okay, I know every I know everybody that's gonna be listening. They're gonna be like, "Ain't you getting ready for the Bronco game?" Yeah, the homies coming over with the the pizza packet right now. You know, we got some other homies coming over. It's it's gonna go down. The Broncos are gonna win today, so just calm down. Yeah, they're gonna win, bro. Shout out yeah, to Denver Broncos locker room. Shout out to KBLP LLC. Uh, shout out to everybody in our in our in our our YouTube channels. You know, it's pretty cool. Shout out to Speaker dot com. Uh, everybody on Facebook. So it's gonna be fun, man. So you know, we're bringing Vlad Brad on. Uh, he got some podcast coming up. We'll talk about that a little later. But we want to know a little bit about yourself, man, and and give us some information on on what you've been doing. Oh man, I'm glad you asked, man. So much I've been doing. So much first. Here's some information on, on me, um, my YouTube channel, The Road of Brad Brad, scope that out. Um, and again, like you said, do you're absolutely correct to have a podcast coming up in the future. You know, that, that's, that's looking good. Um, this is my first podcast right here, so, you know, I've always wanted to do this. I've always interested in this. Um, so, yeah, this is pretty much, it's pretty sick, dude. Let um, me see. Uh, originally from Lansing, Michigan. Um, I'm living out in, in uh, Southern California. You know, I mean, the, the weather is pretty... It's pretty sick, it's pretty nice, and everything else. Um, I'm a Broncos fan as well. You know, I was out in Denver not too long ago. Um, so, yeah, dude, I'm looking forward to that game. Um, so, and then, you know, with my podcast, you know, um, I'll be talking about a variety of issues. A variety of issues. And um, you guys have got to I'm very, sometimes I can get intense, by intense, but turned up animated. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, dude. Um, Looking forward to getting to know you guys, and um, getting, looking forward to chilling. And Ike, again, thanks for having me, dude. This is going to be insane. Yeah, it's going to be fun, man. I'm excited, dude. It's going to be a good time. Dude. Yeah, me I can't too. Wait to hear what you got, because I, I listened to like I was just listening to your uh, your YouTube this morning, uh, part two. And I was okay, like, man, okay. he's showing the ocean, man. I got all jealous because I show my little lake by my house. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, he's showing the ocean. That's messed up. <laughs> no. I got all jealous, bro. I was like, oh, man, I can't believe he no did way, that dude. to me. No, I used to live, no, in, no. I used to live in California, too, but I never liked to tell anybody because I'm from Colorado. I represent for Colorado. Straight up, man. Straight up. Straight up. <laughs> um, you know, I was going to say, too. Now, you know what? Uh, I was just kind of giving the people an idea of, of, of how I chill. You know what I mean? Of how I take it when I'm in my zone. You know what I mean? Like, um, I have so much more in store. You know, I said, you know what? Since I'm out here, I might as well exploit it. You know what I mean? So, uh, I would just say, you know what? I said, let me just kind of scope it out. just kind of give people a view. But, dude, you know what? Colorado, bro, it's it's beautiful there, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I loved it when I was there. Um, and I will be visiting again soon, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's more of a relaxing, more chill environment, bro. You know, for us here, here in, um, in Southern California, it's more of a fast paced, fast paced kind of environment. So when you, when you do get a chance to chill, you get to kind of just like chillax, chill and relax. That's the word I use, chillax, chill and relax. And at the same time, you know, you kind of just like, you bask in that moment. You know what I mean? You kind of bask in it. You get to just, so that's why I said, you know what, let me bring, the audience over with me so they could kind of see where I'm at when I'm, when, you know, and, and that was like a weekend video. Um, that's what I used to do on a weekend outside of my actual day job, you know what I mean? When I'm just chilling and just kind of just, um, you know, when I want to do some really, some, some, some thinking. So I said, you know, the ocean is really nice to look at. I said, let me just, you know, share this with everybody. But it could be nah, bro. Denver's where it's at, man. Denver's where it's at. You know what I mean? Yeah, they say it's the headquarters for the Illuminist, man. No, I don't want. We, we won't get into none of that stuff. But <laughs> but it's nice out here, man. It's nice, dude. It, it's already getting cold though, dude. I was freezing this morning, dude. That's what actually woke me up, man, because I overslept and then um, I was freezing and I woke up. I was like, oh shoot. Oh man, bro. I, I, you know what? I, I like the cold weather, bro. I mean, you know, um, 
don't get me. I mean, it's, sunshine is cool. And I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, it's it's pretty cool too. But me personally, I pref- you know because you know like I prefer prefer the uh, colder climates. You know, again, again, we, we, I guess I'm just saying it because I'm here. Maybe, but the thing about it is. When you're, when you're living here, you know, it gets hot, then it gets humid, you know what I mean? And you're sweating, you're like, oh my gosh, you know? But, um, but dude, like, I, I love snow, snowboarding, you know, I'm, I'm with, I like, I love skiing, you know, I mean, I'm not the best at it, you know what I mean? But I mean, I, I, I do my thing. I, I, I do my thing. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I love, um, let me tell you a quick story about me, dude. I, I lived in California okay. and, um, I was, I, we went to the beach one time, right? And okay. I was, I won't tell you the whole story, but I was going to run away for life, dude, and just become a beach bum, dude. I was never going to come home, dude. <laughs> I spent a whole, I spent a whole month at the beach, dude, and they had to come find me, dude. <laughs> and all we did yeah, was surf every you. day, every morning, dude. <laughs> so it, it's just a funny little story. I, we'll get into it more later. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. No doubt, man. I, I definitely, I want to hear more about that. That's, Super interesting because that's something that I would do, bro. I mean, that beat it, it'll it'll hook you. It'll hook you, man. It really would. It's man, like you, it's like addicting, my, bro. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's addicting, man. It really is. That that I gotta say. Um, especially you know when you go to Venice Beach, you see all kind of craziness. I mean, you, you see a little bit of everything there. You yeah. know, and uh, yeah. I mean, just I like see, just um, like looking at mm-hmm. the uh, the ocean that you had posted, dude. I was like, oh man, I wish I was there right now. You know, I post this little lake and I get all excited, dude. You know what I'm saying? I just like I bodies of water, dude. Bodies of water just look pretty to me, dude. Especially filming them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely, man. So, absolutely. So yeah, you guys got to scope that out. You got some people in the in the chat saying hi to you, dude. Oh, hey, what's up, you guys? Appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, you know. I appreciate the uh, the support. Hi, back to all you guys. I mean, you guys are going to get a lot of me. You guys can give me a give me a full effect. Looking forward to that. Make so sure, yeah, make sure you stop by and say hi to them too in the chat, dude. Remember what I said? Oh yeah, that? yeah. You know what? <laughs> in fact, now that you mention it, oh uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, now that oh, you know, um, now, now that you know how to run the chat, <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, definitely gonna. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Let me. Uh, you guys got to excuse me because, again, it's my first time in the podcast, my first time in the cast. So, you know, get the hang of it. But, I'm, I mean, I'm a fast learner, you know, at least I think I am, you know. So, yeah, you're doing, uh, you're doing good, dude. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to, you know, say hi back to you guys individually, the people that I see. But I just got to kind of get the hang of it so I can say, what's up? What's so, up? So, 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 you, so you can work back and forth, dude. <laughs> I tried to, oh, but yeah, like exactly. I said, okay, okay. On the on the new mixer, like 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 you, if if you use your 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 phone, you could use the new mixer and um, you could see the chat while you're live, dude. See, I I'm on the old mixer, so I can't see the chat. Oh, okay, okay. Let me see if I can see the chat really fast. Let me see if I can see the chat really fast. I'm looking for the chat, looking for the chats. Okay, I see what I put. I see what I put my name. I see I say, yo, Blabber, I entered the room. I put that. And I'm trying to see if I could see the actual chat itself. Looking for that. Looking for that. Let's see. Remember, here. guys, this is an introduction for KBLP with Vlad Brad. KBLP LLC. We go live. Everybody knows how we do it. You can check out the old school. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Dude, you know what? On, on my video, I gave, dude, I gave a massive, insanely massive shout out to KBLP LLC. That was the first thing I did as soon as I did the did my vid, dude. I mean, man, you guys show so much love, and I'm giving it back, man. I mean, it's all love, right you know. On, um, yeah, um, you're you're in one yeah, of the, you're in, I, I put you in one of the groups last night. I don't know if you noticed that. Oh yeah, you know what? I did scope it out. I, I sure did. I scoped it out, and I will be interacting with you guys who are in the group with me. We're definitely going to oh, we're gonna vibe together. We're going to rock it out together. I mean, it's going to be sick. It's going to be bananas. It's going to be bananas. Um, so, yo, um, yeah, did you, did, you, uh, did you catch that fight last night? Or, or no, no? no, I didn't get a chance to, to, to ch- check it out, dude. But, yeah, I was going to turn that over to you so you can let everybody know what happened, man. We got about 15 minutes to go before... Before kickoff, so let's 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 get into it real quick. 
Okay, bro, man, it was. See, okay, here's the thing, right? Um, I mean, I, I predicted it, but I didn't predict it to this degree. You know what I mean? Like it was. Uh, I mean, Khabib, Norman Gomedov is his name, and then you, you know, you had Conor the Notorious, the Notorious Conor McGregor, like that dude. Um, bro, it was. I mean, I, I knew it was still over, but I didn't think it was. I mean, I have my front row seats. To be honest, I mean, I wasn't actually at the, I wasn't at the UFC event, but I was at a, I was at this Irish pub, so I was scoping it out at the pub, and um, bro, it was, I mean, you know, to be, he 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 left me in awe. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I edged it out to Khabib. I predicted before the fight, you know, came on. I mean, in my video, I said, you know what, I'm edging this out to Khabib because he has more experience, and he's just a terminator, bro. Like he comes at you with the same energy that he starts off with. You know, like when people, when you, when you fight, or like in, in any, not even just fight, in any sport for that matter, whether it be combat sport, whether it be NBA, football, whatever the case may be, you know, as, as it goes on, you start to, you know, you start off with energy, but then you kind of get fatigued. But Khabib, he just, he's a one of, one of a kind of athlete I've never seen. Like he'll come at you with the same energy that he started off with the whole entire fight. And his, I mean, he just, he's a beast, bro. So, and, um, I take nothing from McGregor, but I, I, I did. I did call that fight, bro. But um, it was the after fight, the aftermath that really was the real fight because bro, people was jumping in a cage. I mean, spectators was punching on McGregor. It was, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, it got, then, uh, it got out of control. Then is what you're saying? Yeah, it got it got way out of control, bro. Could be jumped on the audience, punching on. It was it was Conor McGregor the team he was punching on people who was in his training camp. You know what I mean? Like, um, like it was it was a dude. Some of his trainers, you know, I guess there was, was holding in so that could be and everything. And um, you know, people in, in Khabib's corner. I mean, I mean, uh, in the McGregor corner. You know, they're trying to like McGregor fight McGregor, punch him in the in the fucky face. You know what I mean? Like they were really on him. Like and then uh, it was like after that. Khabib just, you know, he lost it because they were holding insults at him, you know, you know, whatever. And then uh, when the insults got hurled, I mean, he was listening to it. Dude, he choked McGregor out. McGregor was, like, halfway unconscious. And after that, he wanted more of him. Then after McGregor was still on the ground, he hopped. That's when Khabib hopped over the, the, the guardrail, you know. And then he just started, like, punching on people after that fact. And McGregor still, still don't know what's going on. He's halfway unconscious. So he's up. And the dude's coming in. Oh, yeah, remember that crap you were talking? Yeah, it's me. And then they come and then he's punching on McGregor. McGregor trying to punch that dude, and he's getting punched from behind. And it was just—it was all kind of pandemonium. It was—it was—it was like bananas. It was insane, bro. Like it was crazy. You know, even the people in the pub was going on. Like, oh my gosh, is this gonna, is this gonna—it's gonna happen in here. What's going on here? You know what I mean? It was—it was crazy, bro. But uh, the fight was—it was entertaining. It was an entertaining fight. It was—it was, um, was definitely one for the books. Definitely one for the books. It sounds Hello. like it, man. It sounds like it was uh, a, it was a great fight, dude. I I had I I didn't get home till late, and then like I said, I was out, dude. I didn't even get a chance to do my regular podcast, man. So I'm like, oh, I, gotta man. Catch, I gotta catch up on it today. I know my son watched. Uh, he's still asleep, dude. So I'm waiting for him to get up because he gives me some details on it too, dude. Or else I'd have more details for you on it because right now I don't I don't have a lot of information you, on the fight. I feel you. Bro. Are you so yeah, so, you, did it go um, the full three rounds, or did it uh, did it end early, or what? What was the deal on that? Well, yeah, you know, it went to the it, it went to the last round. M M McGregor, I give McGregor that much credit. He did hang in there with. I mean, honestly, I didn't expect McGregor to last as long as he did. I mean, he. I mean, I take my hats off to him. You know, again, McGregor, he's a McGregor himself is an awesome fighter. You know what I mean? But Khabib is in a league of his own, dude. You know what I mean? Like he's. He's he's from another planet. So That's let me how, let me I mean, ask so, you this real quick: Did did um, okay. McGregor have to move up in weight to to fight Khabib? I, I knew there was some weight issue there uh, when I was recently looking into it. Okay. Um. Yeah. For, for understand. Yeah. From from what I understand, you know, I mean, I could be wrong, but from what I do understand, that yeah, McGregor did have to move up. See. McGregor, he's that he's that versatile of a fighter. Like he'll go down the weight, he'll fight. He'll move up the weight, he'll fight. Um, he fought Nate Diaz, and uh, when he fought Nate, hey, I, those I are I my believe, cousins, man. So, 
Oh, are they really? Yeah, man. My name's Ideas, bro. <laughs> oh, nice, nice, bro. Nice. Okay. All right. Awesome. Uh, bro, bro, I mean, I'm a Nate Diaz fan, dude. I mean, Nate, Nick Diaz, you know Nick Diaz, right? Yeah, they party too much, man. No, I'm just joking. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be quiet about all that stuff, dude. I'm not into that. No. Oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah, dude, they're, they're, they're like the brothers of destruction of the UFC, if you will. Well, they're some um, bad boys, I'll tell you that. I wouldn't want to run into them fools, man. Yeah, not at all, bro. I mean, that, you know what I mean? If, if, if you, I think if you're chill, I mean, they, they, they have chill personalities. They could just fight their ass off, you know what I mean? I mean, but if, if you're chilling, you're cool, you're good, bro. I mean, you you can chill, you can kick it. But if you go in there thinking you're you, you're, you're bad, you think you're just okay. I'm this big tough guy. You go, I'm Tony Montana. You go in there thinking you're Tony Montana. Somebody about to just then they're about to put you in your place. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? You you don't want yeah, to without a doubt, bro. guys in a in a dark alley, man. Just put it like that, dude. I don't care how big and bad you are, dude. <laughs> how much training yeah, exactly. you got, dude? <laughs> Them, them guys, are, them guys are a different kind of beast. All them, all the, I'm talking about all them M- MMA fighters in general, dude. They're just they're di- they're just different kind of fighters, dude. They they have yeah, a bro. different. Uh, there's something that clicks in their brain, and when it goes off, it's over. You know what I'm saying? So so let me yeah. ask you this: were, were were was the fight more of um, a technical ground fight or a technical uh, on the feet kind of fight? Were there you any submission holds? That could have ended it, or well, I'm gonna say this: it was it was a mixture of both, bro. To be honest, it's it's really hard to determine more so because um, you know it did go four rounds, and, and you know McGregor, you know he tapped out, he got choked out in the fourth round, but throughout the fight they did some stand up fighting. You know McGregor McGregor landed some some critical blows on Khabib, bro. I mean he he landed some. I mean McGregor he's good on he's good on his, his stand up. I mean he can. He can knock out an elephant. He hit so hard, dude. I mean, but I mean, he was McGregor was catching him with some some punches, catching him with some vital kicks, and 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 Khabib just kept coming at him, bro. So it was a, it was a mixture of both, man. It was like it was like um, Khabib. He's a tank, man. Like he just, he, I mean, I don't. He just he shows no weaknesses. I mean, and, and, and McGregor's a, a monster himself. So but yeah, it was a little both. To answer your question, it was a uh, it was it was. Some stand up, and it was some ground and pound. It was it was some technical. It was some holes that was put in there. Um, McGregor tried to get Khabib in a few holes, and um, it just you know Khabib, Khabib busted out of him. And then uh, you know Khabib had McGregor in a few holes, some technical um, ground. He tried to get him in an arm bar. That didn't work. You know he tried to get McGregor in an arm bar. You know McGregor got out of that, but just it, what it came down to, bro, it just came down to the conditioning. You know what I mean? Because. Um, what it was is Khabib just he was way more conditioned, bro. I mean, that's just what he does to his opponents. He wears them down. You know, like they come at him, you know, I mean, you know, come the second or third round, um, you know, uh, McGregor started getting fatigued a little bit. He started getting a little tired, but Khabib was just with the same energy, bro. Like it's t- from the very beginning, it was, it was, it was crazy. I've never seen a fighter like this dude, man. But you, you, you know, got, you got to remember that McGregor's at a time in his life where it, it, it He's going. He went through that party stage, so he may be out of shape a little bit too. Though you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because that, once they have point. so many victories, just like Roundy Rowdy Round Rowdy Rowdy Round Rousey, uh, Ron, if I said her name wrong, whatever. But um, yeah, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Yeah, she's one of my favorite yeah. fighters, dude. She, I, I, when I first saw her fight, dude, I was like, man, this girl is a beast, dude. And then I noticed yeah. that she went through her little party stage, and then she ran into the girl from. Colorado and got her ass whooped. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I usually don't. Cuss. I, don't I usually don't cuss, but it, it was because round rowdy rowdy rounder. You know, you know who I'm talking about. Well, anyway, yeah, she's a, she's a grappler, and the the woman she was okay. fighting is a kickboxer. You can't put those two together. If if she can't get that kickboxer on the ground, she's not going to win the fight. So the girl just kickbox. Uh, uh, rowdy, rowdy out. You know what I'm saying? She just knocked her out yeah. because she couldn't get her on the ground, dude. But if if Rowdy, 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 Rowdy <laughs> Rousey would have <laughs> would have got a hold of her, it would have been over. So, so 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 it just works kind of both ways. So if you run into a kickboxer, somebody who knows how to fight, you know, you know, with their fists and their feet, and you could stay away from them getting you on the ground, you're gonna win the fight. But if the, if you let them get get you in a grappling hold, it's over, dude. You know what I'm saying? The fight's over. Yeah. Instantly, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, without a doubt, bro. You know, you're talking about Holly Holm. 
Holly Holmes, yeah, Holly Holmes, dude. Yeah, and she's yeah, a, she's, bro. A, she's a badass yeah. kickboxer, dude. She did. You, oh my god, everything was technique, dog. If you watch the fight, she was just tit tit tit. Everything was just right on target, man. Yeah, absolutely. But, but you got to you know remember, she was Rowdy Ronda was coming off like all them parties and all that stuff, all that Hollywood, you know, WWE parties. You know what I'm saying? Back, you know, all that crazy stuff, dude. So yeah. Yeah, I think McGregor kind of went through the same phase, man. And when they go through that phase, that's when they lose them fights, man. Yeah, that, you know what? You make a good point, man. I mean, I can't. That's that's irrefutable. That's that's a really good point because I'm gonna tell you why. The thing is, you know, again, you know, McGregor just came off that Mayweather fight. You know what I mean? He just came off that, and then you know he, he went to something. You know, McGregor's not a he's not a professional boxer, but he had he went in a whole other element of the fighting game just to. You know, and he, he got like a, I don't know, a gazillion dollars. That, you know what I mean? But you so, got to remember, that was just a show, man. That was just a show for yeah. people, dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, without a doubt, without a doubt. Um, yeah, it was, you know what? Yeah, it, you know what? He took a hiatus for a while from yeah, from MMA after he, he after, after that the show that they put on. You know what I mean? So uh, that, that makes a lot of sense, dude, because you got to, uh, how I, I personally think, I think McGregor should have fought, before he fought Khabib, he should have fought someone else first. Before, and it, you know, he, I think they just smacked him in the in the ring with Khabib too early. They should have let him, um, you know, fight like um, they should have let him fight. I can't think of the dude's name at the at right now, but uh, he should have. You know, they should have gave him like kind of more of an exhibition kind of fight before they, you know, let him uh, get back in tune. But the thing is, McGregor. McGregor, he he's a bad boy, bro. Either way, I think it'll be a rematch. It's definitely without a doubt gonna be a rematch, but. Um, yeah, it was too early for him. I, I believe so, man. It was. Especially to be fighting the Khabib, man. I mean, it was too early for that. Yeah. You know, because what, what McGregor did to uh, Jose Aldo, I don't know if you remember that fight. Um, you know, he, he, he slept him in like the first five seconds, bro. And, and Jose Aldo was a monster of a fighter. Yeah, you know what I mean? He was crazy. Jose Aldo was, yeah, he was, he was, you know, he was kicking butts and taking names, bro. Like he was, and, and people didn't expect McGregor to win that fight. You know, but that's what, back when McGregor was hungry. Like you said, that was when he was really in the MMA game before the partying and everything else. He was super conditioned. He was an insane athlete. You know what I mean? So they put him in there with Aldo, and, and, and he just, he won, he tapped that chin is what he did. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, McGregor, he, he touched Aldo's chin, like, and it, it was just like, um, you know, I could see the corner get like, get up, McGregor. I mean, get, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, now McGregor, but he was like, get on McGregor, get on him. Knocking down McGregor. You know what I mean? They were just pushing him. You know? <laughs> yeah, so we're going exactly to go into a real quick song. We only got a few minutes left. We're going to go into a real quick okay, song. We're okay. going to come back. We're going to finish finish up. You're live on KBL, okay. LLC with ideas with Vlad Brad. So it's cool. His podcast is coming soon, so check it out. So we'll be right back, guys. Thank you. You're listening awesome. to The Jam with Ike Dog. Or I wanna be player. You see, the hood's been good to me. Ever 
rest says I was a lowercase G, but now I'm a big G. The girls see I got the money, hundred dollar bills, y'all. If you were from where I'm from, then you would know that I gotta get mine in a big black truck. You can get yours in a six ball. Whatever it is, the party's underway. So tip off your cup and throw your hands up. Six eight, he stood, and people thought the music that he made was good. The little DJ and Paul was his name. He came up to money. This is what he said: You and OG are gonna make some cash. Sell a million records, and we're making the dash. Oh, I'm buzzing the club. This is how we do it. Dancing to dancing like no. KBLP LLC. Check us out on iHeart, Speaker, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. With the best podcasters in the business Denise Harris, Chris Stevens, Michelle Auger, Ike Diaz, Desiree Pickett, Anissa Nicole, Cecilia Flores, Lolita Diaz. Sponsored by TBS303.com. We are also looking for new podcasters. Inbox any of our podcasters or me, Ike Diaz, directly on Facebook and someone will get back with you ASAP. You're back live with Ike Diaz on KBLP LLC. It goes down with Vlad Brad. Make sure you check him out on YouTube. Make sure you check out his channel, The World of Vlad Brad. What's going on, man? Yo, yo, what's up, Ike? Man, we chilling in the podcast, man, and I'm enjoying it, you know. And, uh, dude, it's pretty awesome, man. I mean, this is, this is wicked. I'm loving it. Yeah, it's a little different than YouTube and, uh, yeah, it's a little different, but I, I love the vibe, bro. I mean, I'm, this is it just feels so natural, bro, and I appreciate you having me. Yeah, right on, I man. Appreciate you. Yeah, right on. Man. You're welcome, dude. But uh, real quick, we only got a few minutes left, so let's. we want to okay. talk about real quick what you got coming up for your podcast, how you're going to present it, your ideas, and how fun and exciting it's going to be because I'm ready. Oh, uh, yo, I'm glad you bring that up, man. Um, I have so much, so much to talk about, but the thing is, also, I'm going to bring up, I'm going to talk about common sense situations that people can identify with, you know what I mean? Especially things that people can use in their everyday life, that whether you be at work, whether you're just hanging out, whether you're at home, different situations that people come, like example, I'm also going to talk about, you know, people have house guests, and then, you know, you got to, sometimes you have to, uh, you know, give them several hints to leave, and they still stay, like, uh, like you, you'll tell them, like, oh, my gosh, it's got to wait, oh, it's got to work in the morning, and they don't take several hints. You know, certain ways you can, like, you know, work around some kind of situation. Definitely going to talk about that. Uh, what else do you want to talk about? I mean, sports. That's so much, bro. I mean, it's, it's going to be insane. I mean, it's gonna, I mean, I have a million ideas to share with, you know, my, my potential listeners, bro. I mean, uh, it's, it's going to be it's gonna be awesome, bro. And, uh, dude, this is, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, dude, it's going to be cool, dude. It's going to be exciting. I can't wait. I'm really, I'm really pumped up, man. So let's get it together. Uh, let's get the dates planned out. Let's get the, you know, let's get the idea, the name, the title. 
let's get ready to roll, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be efficient. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be what everybody's looking for. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, I just uh, want to say this real quick. Bob, yeah, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say this. Um, you know, um, the most the most berserk, the most amped up, the most electrifying KBLPLLC podcast. This is awesome. That's what I want to say. Okay, what you want me to say? No, I was uh, I was uh, just trying to wrap it up real quick. Uh, I okay. I want to appreciate you for coming on, dude. And like I said, uh, before we get going, could you announce your Facebooks, your Gram, your Bow, your Twitter, um, any groups you're in, and then your YouTube channel real quick before we go? Okay, yeah, without a doubt, without a doubt. Um, you know, my YouTube channel is called The World of Vlad Brad. Um, scope it out. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate if you sub me there. Um, you can follow me on, I'm also on IG at, no, me on Facebook, she wrote, I'm on Facebook at Zach Morrison. You know, so scope me out right there. Um, what else? Um, my, my, I just, not too long ago, made my, uh, my IG account, and it's, uh, it's, it's Vlad Brad as well. And, um, so you scope me out right there. Um, so, yeah, bro, I'm looking forward to it, to, to interacting with you guys, and um, it's, it's gonna be cool, bro. Like, it's, Gonna be epic. Gonna be epic. Yeah, man, that's right on, man. The Broncos started already, bro. Shout, okay. out, shout out to the Denver Broncos once again. Shout out to Vlad Brad from the world of Vlad Brad live on KBLP LLC with Ike D is the main place to be. You know what I'm saying? You know Vlad, how it goes, Vlad, man. Vlad. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing it all out because you, every time you come on YouTube, you go, mad, mad. <laughs> I don't want to get tongue twisted. <laughs> but it's cool, man. It's cool watching your videos, man. Keep them, keep them coming. And then, like I said, let's get this podcast rolling ASAP. We got to get it started. You might have to film it, for me on Saturday, so I might take like a month off, man, because I've been going for two years straight, dude. I've only got like two. Okay. Two. Uh, what the heck is going on with that? I've only got like two. I've only got like two Saturdays off in like a, like a grip, dude. I might have to put it on regular TV, dude, because I don't know why this ain't working. Um, you got it, man. Um, so you might have to fill in for me Saturdays, but the most of the podcasts that are available are in the morning time right now. You know what I'm saying? So no doubt. So I don't know what works. Uh, start looking into your schedule, then look at our schedule. And then see what works out for you, and let's get you on the air right away. You know what I'm saying? That way you can start your podcast, man. Hopefully we can start it the next week or two. Um, that way okay. you're, you're ready to go. You're, you're pumped up, man. Like I said, thank you for coming on. Sorry we had to rush you today. It's just like I said, it's Bronco Sunday, and both of us kind of both of us kind of overslept a little bit. <laughs> Same here, bro. I know. <laughs> Because I wanted to get on. I wanted to do like a four or five hour podcast. I wanted to start like about seven in the morning. You know what I mean? Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, because we could have went forever, dude. You know what I mean? So we could have, we could have, yeah. man. So this is the jam with ideas once again. Uh, all the listeners, uh, make sure you sub to uh, Vlad, Br- the world of Vlad Brad on YouTube. Check out his Facebook at Zach Morrison. Make sure you check out Ike League on Facebook. Make sure you check out KBLP LLC on Facebook. Also check out Planet Bob on Facebook and check out. Denver Broncos locker room and check out the podcast for Denver Broncos locker room Monday night, every Monday. And then also you got, um, AHS with Denise Harris tonight. So make sure and check her out. So we got a long week of podcasts. It's going to be awesome. It's fun. It's fun to have a guest on the show. Who's going to be a podcaster soon. So I'm really excited, but thank you very much. Uh, say hello to my podcast. Say hello to my podcast. I'll say hello to my little friend. Yeah, I hear you, dude. <laughs> it's going to be cool, man. It's going to be exciting, It's going to be cool, man. man. I have to get that in, man. I have to get it in. I know. All right, man. We'll chop it up a little later. I'll give you a call after the, after the Bronco game, man. Maybe you can think of some ideas during the Bronco game, and then we can talk a little more about it, man. You got it, Ike. I appreciate you, man. All right, cool, man. Good talking with you. We'll talk later. Have a great night, man. I appreciate it. You got it. Or you have too. a great great day. My bad. I'm used to being on the jam at night and telling everybody have a good I feel night. You, man. So uh, I have a great Sunday. And everybody, ch- uh, check out the music I played the first 45 minutes of the show. It was cool. So you could bump all day. It, it, it's a good podcast. Go back and listen to it 
uh, Zach, if you if you got some free time, that way you can check it out and uh, see I'll how check you it feel out about it. Yeah, right on, man. Just let me know. Let me know. Give me some feedback on it, man. But thanks a lot. You got we, it. we will talk with you soon, bro. All right, later. Later, man. Later, everybody. Later, bro. Later. You're listening to the jam with Ike Dog.